Hey guys, we are back and just as promised, doing the golden stones. Um, so these are very glowy, but they're not shiny in that same sense as most of the stones and gems are that I do. Um, if you feel like you want them to be shiny, it's very, very simple to get that. All you're going to do is highlight right in here in the lightest spot. Basically, you're just going to go in and do a little curve, maybe a few dots, um, and just follow your your line to get that um, at the lightest spot where our, our highlight already is in order to make a shiny stone. It gives it that gloss look. And you do that with, you know, one of your white gel pens, whether it's the Signo Uniball or the Jelly Roll or whatever. That's how you would get that look, and it's very, very simple. Um, it's not the look that I want. I kind of like to keep with the glowy stone look, so we're going to do that with our gold ones. For gold stones, I've picked out Naples Yellow. Um, brown ochre, burnt sienna, and walnut brown. Uh, as you guys know, I love to use polychromos. They are my favorite pencil, so that's what I use most often. So, I'm going to start with my lightest color and then blend out from there. And then I'll use it to help go back in over all the other pencil colors to help kind of blend them in. So, in keeping with our kind of theme of here, we've got this lighter spot right here. And then our color will deepen as it goes out and around and to the sides. But I want to have the idea of where it is right about here. So, to help show that, I want to bring in the next color, which is Burnt Ochre. And just very gentle layering to go around here. And help remind me exactly where my highlighted spot is to keep it nice and light. And I'm going to, and this is just, you know, building values. So I'm going to go to Burnt Sienna, which is actually one of my favorite browns. It's so warm and has so much reddish tone I think in it. It's a very warm brown so I like it a lot. Just like that. And then for around the edges and to continue building our depth over here. I'm going to bring the walnut brown in and just make sure I get all the edges really, really well. we can start going back up in our colors and blending it, making sure it's nice and smooth, as well as getting much deeper saturation of the colors. So I'm going to go back to the Burnt Sienna and just use a tiny bit more pressure. Some really nice little circles going there. A 
And then back to the burnt ochre. And this already gives it quite a bit of that gold tone that we want it to have. But then just to really build it all together and keep its color pumped up, we go in with our Naples yellow and just go all over it. Just blending the entire stone here. Just like that. <laughs> if you feel the need to go back in and do some more color layers with it, feel free to. I'm going to use the brown ochre and just go down here in this corner a little bit. Just hoping to smooth out some of these shadows. And then, of course, to do our little cracks for our stone, I'm going to use the darkest one I have, which is the walnut brown. And it's always best to do this if you have really nice sharp tip on it. I did not go back and resharpen this so I probably should have. That's alright. Just like that. And there you have our golden stone. Pretty quick, pretty easy. So, I hope you use this. I hope you like it and enjoy it. And I'll be doing a couple more and uh, filling in some of these other spaces. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.